That is the only source of light in this room right now. Although these monitors are on, black screens, not a fan of backgrounds. Although I do have this. Now let's say you're filming at night and you want to use some light. Let's say you're filming with your phone. What do you do? Well, you turn your phone light on and you start filming. Here we have phone light. Now that looks to me like it's a little too yellow for my liking. Also, it's not very bright. Now some lights can also flicker when you use them. Echo. Ceiling light on. Not too sure if that's flickering, but if it is, it flickers. I'm pretty sure it flickers. Echo. Ceiling light five. Ceiling light off. Now another way to film in the dark is by using a camera that's very good with low light. But let's just say you don't have a low light camera. Check this out. How's that? Look at the color. It's not yellow. Looks nice to me. And that isn't even on its brightest setting. How's that for brightness? Nice and bright. Not only is this light bright, it's also small. It's also waterproof. And the light I'm talking about is this. Subtig waterproof video light. 500 lux, 147 feet, wide angle, micro USB charging. And I think it also works with a USB plugged in. All right, so let's see what we get inside this. All right, so here we have the charge cable. Now really, this is meant for a GoPro, but I mean, it's portable. You can stick it to something. Let's take it out of this. All right, so there is the back door, but how do you open it? Ah, all right. And there we have the battery that goes inside it and the charge port. Now, because I'm not gonna be using this underwater, what I'm gonna do is modify the door on it at some point. Anyway, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna test this out. So I'm gonna plug that into there and we'll see if it works. It does work, turn straight on. But it seems as though when you use that, the light isn't adjustable. Whereas with the battery pack, it seems to be way brighter. That is the lowest brightness. And then we have SOS. simple straightforward light. If you're going to be filming things like speakers and you want to see the speakers move a lot more, you have to adjust your camera settings. And when you do that, you need a lot more light. So something like this will come in pretty handy. Bonus, it doesn't flicker. And let me turn this light off and I'll turn this light on. Check that out. I could even just use this on top of my camera. Anyway, there we have it. Links are in the description. All right, small update. I've just discovered that when you plug this into the back of it without a battery inside, that is a brightness level. And that brightness level is lower than what you can choose when the battery is inside of it. So when you put the battery inside, what happens is the brightness goes to full, but then when you press this button, it goes to the second one down, and then you can take the battery out and it stays at that level. Otherwise, the brightness level is that. So I'll probably use that hack, but yeah, I'll probably drill a hole into the back of this case and plug this into the back of it. If not, I'll just use it with the battery inside of it because it's supposed to last a few hours. Okay, check it out. Thought I'd do a test down here with the light. And that's what it looks like. Just kidding, that's my phone. Here we have the light on its lowest setting. Now we'll try it on high. High. At some point I need to sort this out. And here we have no light. 
That is moonlight. Daytime. This is what the light is like without the battery inside it. Right now, I've got it connected to this battery bank. Red goes to GoPro, this one goes to the light. Links for this in the description if you're interested. Okay, so here we have the battery. What I'll do is I'll put it inside, so I think it goes that way around. And I think it's in, so if I press this button now, it should go to SOS mode. Yep, that is SOS. Lights off, and then that there is the brightest mode. So yeah, it is quite bright. What I will probably use it on is the lowest, which is that. Uh, now I can take out the battery. And there we have the battery. Now when I press the button, what happens is the light gets even lower. So what you need to do is put this back in like that. It brightens up. So highest, lowest, and then take the battery out and it'll stay there. So what I'm gonna do now that I've had this for about a day and I've played around with it is drill a hole onto the lid. All right, so here we have the lid and the way I was gonna drill into this was gonna be with this cordless drill, but I can't seem to find my drill bits. So instead what I'm gonna do is use something out of here. This is, these are for my rotary tool, the Dremel-like device, which isn't a Dremel, but there's a drill bit, so I could technically use that in here. So I might as well try that. Okay, seems to work. Now I might even use a rotary tool to try to shape this hole a little bit. It might be easier using that rather than the drill. But anyway, let's make the first hole. So the way I'm gonna do this, actually, what I could do is use this. This is a vise. It's a desk vise. All right, so that's gonna go there like this. I never used to put links in my descriptions, really. Not of products, but if you wanna buy this, a link will be down there. Angle this the best way possible. I'll put that in there, nice and tight. Then we can angle this say to face me like this re-angle the camera and let's see what we can do hopefully that's steady enough seems to be this isn't moving that is my desk that's moving what i'm doing is guesstimating clearly it's not the best drill bit This is taking the piss. Ah, just kidding. Just gonna check this hole to see how accurate I was. So I seem to be more or less in the right area. That went a little quicker. I could probably do with getting a bigger drill bit. Just gotta find them. Could even do it by another hoover. All right, so hit echo, pause. Accidentally left this light on too before. Don't know if that really helps. Either way, I've got this here. This is a four mil. So we're gonna take this in steps. And uh, yeah, I did find them eventually. The drill bits. And this one here is a six. Nice. So what I need to do is make sure this fits through there. Kind of, but it's not gonna reach. So, let's just take this off first. It needs to go a little more to the left. Okay, that should be better. Ooh, so close. And now it is even closer. So for the fourth time, that should be good. That there 
is clearly visible. So if I need to use the battery inside this, I should be able to, and I can leave it in there and also charge. And there we are, it's working. Looks a bit of a mess, but I don't care. And you're not gonna see it after this. All right, so there we have the hole. So first, what I was gonna do was melt the edges. That would have made this look a little neater. In fact, I could probably still do that. It's just that it's probably gonna make this room smell for a few days. And I don't really like the smell of melted plastic. So I might just leave it the way it is because it works the way I want it to now. And they should have really made two versions of this. One, which was the way this was originally, which was fine, waterproof and everything. The other one, maybe like have access to that so that you can plug it in without having to take the battery out or open the lid. That would have been good. Other than that, uh, yeah, that is about all that I'm gonna do to this. Now, when I mount this, I can close the lid and not have it make noises as it swings open and closes, which I'm not too sure if you heard, but it was doing that now and then. All right, well, that is enough of that. I will catch you with the next one. I might actually, actually even learn to speak before I start making videos. Thank you.